Good afternoon, distinguished guests, family, and friends. I am Dr. Stephen Stanford, Bradley's 12th president, and it is my great privilege to lead today's event. On behalf of Bradley University, our board of trustees, faculty and staff, and these students, I am honored to welcome you to the spring 2022 graduate commencement ceremony. Now, please rise and remain, st and remain standing and join us in the singing of the national anthem followed by an invocation. Leading our national anthem is Dr. Carrie Wal Walters, Associate Professor of Music, accompanied by Dr. Chi Hun Choi, Assistant Professor of Music in Residence. Thank you, Dr. Walters and Dr. Choi. Our special guest to deliver today's invocation is Ms. Kathy Holtz, Chair of the Bradley University Board of Trustees and a distinguished Bradley alumni. Please welcome Ms. Kathy Holtz. Yeah, it is, it is. Good afternoon and welcome. We gather here today on this very special day to celebrate the commencement of the Bradley University class of 2022. While we come from all different backgrounds, hold different beliefs, and perhaps different values, we are united in gratitude here today. 
I ask that we give thanks for the achievements of the students who are here with us today. I ask that we give thanks to the families and the friends who have supported and helped our students get to this place. I ask that we give thanks to the staff and the faculty who have mentored and taught these students. I ask that we give thanks for the hopes, the dreams, and the plans that this great institution has nourished and for further blessings on this institution to continue mentoring and teaching men and women for generations to come. During your college career, you were faced with so many challenges, yet you found the strength to meet every one of them. I hope Bradley has meant to you what you have meant to us. I hope you will use all that you have learned here to be a positive force in your family, in your community, and in your country. We ask God's blessings on each of you and to look out for each of you every day as you move forward from here to live your lives to the very fullest. In gratitude we pray, amen. Thank you, Kathy. You may be seated. It is so wonderful to see you all here today, and a special greeting to those who are watching our live stream online. At this time, I'd like to introduce the platform party members who you will not be hearing from during the ceremony. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing. You may hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. Devin Murphy, Honorary Marshal and Mace Bearer and the recipient of the Samuel Rothberg Professional Excellence Award. Jessica Clark, Dean of the College of Education and Health Sciences. Molly Gribb, Dean of the Foster College of Business and the Caterpillar College of Engineering and Technology. Jeff Huberman, Dean of the Slane College of Communication and Fine Arts. Dan Moon, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. The next few people are members of the senior leadership team of the institution. This includes Warren Anderson, Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Justin Ball, Vice President for Enrollment Management. Cheryl Cox, Chief Operating Officer and Chief Financial Officer. Aaron Genovese, Vice President for Advancement. Chris Jones, Vice President for Strategy and Innovation. Aaron Kasberg, Vice President for Legal Affairs and General Counsel. Chris Reynolds, Vice President for Inter Intercollegiate Athletics, and Nathan Thomas, Vice President for Student Affairs. And finally, I would like to recognize members of the Bradley Board of Trustees who are here with us today, Sharon Desmoulin Karat and John Michael. These individuals are to vote, devoted to Bradley's success. I am surrounded by people who are focused on this, what is best for our students and this institution. They are dedicated individuals who live and breathe Bradley University, and I hope you will join me in showing your appreciation for all they do for our great institution. <laughs> Next, I want to recognize our absolutely incredible faculty and staff. These individuals do so much, so much, to ensure that our students walk across this stage. From day one, when students walk onto campus, the faculty and staff are ready to pitch in and support them on their journeys. These people go way, way above and beyond each and every day, truly each and every day, to make sure our students are prepared for success. They are the backbone of Bradley University. If you are a Bradley, faculty or staff member, please stand and accept our gratitude for all you do to make this university such a fantastic place. It is a Bradley tradition during commencement for a member of the graduating class and a member of the Alumni Association to share a few words. So let me first introduce McKinsey Newman. McKinsey is from Eden, Ohio, and has lived in Peoria for the last four years. She received her undergraduate degree in social media marketing from Bradley in 2020, when she graduated summa cum laude, and was a member of the honors program. Today, she is receiving her MBA and is graduating with a 4.0 GPA. 
She tells us one of her favorite memories at Bradley is presenting at the Foster College of Business breakout sessions on visit days where she interacted with prospective students and shares her Bradley experience. Another experience that she is fond of is being a research assistant to Dr. Larry Weinzimmer in the management and leadership department. She said, and I quote, I have learned so much about academic research and how to be a better consultant through that experience. Plus, I truly enjoyed working so closely with a professor who has been a mentor of mine since undergraduate. McKinsey says being involved in four student consulting projects from undergraduate to now led her to her full-time job at Caterpillar, where she works as a search engine optimization consultant in the digital marketing space. She is also working on publishing her own research, which she attributes to the professors who have mentored her while at Bradley University. She plans to continue her full-time position at Caterpillar, working remotely from her dream location, New York. McKinsey, it's all yours. Good afternoon, President Sandiford, Provost Takahi, Board of Trustees, distinguished members of the faculty and staff, my fellow graduates, family, and friends. If someone had told me when I began my master's program in the fall of 2020 that I'd get to be here to celebrate with you all today, to see your faces in person and honor our accomplishment together, I would have believed the thought too good to be true. And though this year was meant to be a return to normal in countless ways, I'm sure we're all aware there was nothing precedented about earning our degrees in the midst of a global pandemic. From online sessions where your peers were merely names attached to black screens, to sitting in three-hour classes, socially distanced, with masks on, trying to pretend we weren't apprehensive about learning when nothing felt easy. We made it. And maybe things didn't go as we originally planned. I certainly never thought I'd take a 600-level class in my pajamas while eating cookie dough and occasionally checking Twitter to see if Taylor Swift had dropped another secret album. But we've come together today to celebrate the feat we have accomplished. And I hope each of you have taken a moment to revel in just how incredible what we have done truly is. We were not only students, but graduate assistants, full or part-time employees, volunteers, and most notably, individuals dealing with the weight of adapting to an ever-changing learning environment. And so much of that pales in comparison to what we have experienced personally in the past few years. If there's anything my time at Bradley has taught me, it's that life is not linear. And before anyone begins to think I came up with that catchy phrase on my own, I'm going to cite my sources for Bradley one last time. That quote comes from the late British author Sir Tim Robinson, who went on to say that not only is life not linear, but it's organic. We create our lives symbiotically as we explore our talents in relation to the circumstances that they've helped to create for us. And while I may not know each and every one of you, though I'm sure I've had Zoom classes with more of you than I realize. What I do know is this. We all have a talent for adapting. We have had the ability to endure every campus-wide email Bradley has sent changing their COVID restrictions, only for those to be reinstated a week later. Every meant-to-be in-person class that was switched to online and asynchronous the day it was supposed to start every virtual group project or life-altering moment that has happened inside or out of the classroom. We've taken it in stride. Prior to COVID, I spent so much of my time painstakingly laying out my life in front of me, convinced if I could plot each point out precisely enough, the resulting line would have an upward slope, leading me straight to my fairy tale end point. Whether your plans were meticulously written out in a color-coded agenda like mine, or you simply knew you wanted to receive that expensive piece of paper with your name on it someday. We all envisioned a beginning and an end to our Bradley journeys. A linear path from start to finish, marked with accolades and enjoyable moments as we followed the line that was meant to be our educational careers. But that wasn't the case for us, was it? Employment and internship opportunities were lost and course schedules altered or thrown out the window completely as we were forced to adjust to a world that was anything but steady. There was nothing linear about our paths to get here. Yet somehow, 
we still made it. We adapted, no matter how many times our environment shifted or a new variable was introduced. We endured, regardless of the challenges that came along and caused our straight lines to dip to lows we hadn't thought possible. And we succeeded, reaching peaks our previously linear paths may never have touched had we not fallen first. What I hope you all walked away with today is the knowledge that no matter how you got here or what you lost or gained along the way, our accomplishment today shows that we have the ability, the talent to adapt, to endure, and to succeed. I wish you all the best of luck as you continue on your ever-changing organic paths. Thank you and congratulations on such a prestigious accomplishment. Thank you, Mackenzie, for those really wonderfully insightful words. I really appreciate that. Uh, now I turn to our alumni speaker. Katie McGinn Berger serves as the president of Bradley University's Alumni Association. She received her undergraduate degree in English from Bradley in 2008 and her master's in leadership in human service administration from Bradley University in 2011. She is currently pursuing her doctorate at Northeastern University. Katie is the Chief Student Affairs Officer at Illinois Mathematic and Science Academy. Previously, she served at the college level and in the not-for-profit sector, which earned her recognition and awards for service to students and innovative professional practices. She not only attended Bradley as a student, but she also worked here. Katie was an adjunct faculty member in the College of Education and Health Sciences. She was the director of the Louis J. Berger Center for Student Leadership and Public Service. She also served as the acting associate director for fraternity and sorority life. So she knows her way around campus from a student, employee, and alumni perspective. We are thrilled to have Katie with us today to share a few words. Thank you, President Sandiford. Good afternoon, Bradley University class of 2022. I'm thrilled to be here with you representing the Bradley University Alumni Association. I want to offer my sincere congratulations to each of you for your accomplishments. Being here with you today, I can feel the emotion of the day, the pride that comes along with achieving your degree, the excitement of celebrating that accomplishment with fellow graduates, family, and friends, and perhaps even a little apprehension as you leave a place that has been your home. Today marks your transition from Bradley University student to Bradley alumni. So while you might have to leave your Bradley home, you continue to be an important part of the Bradley University family. In talking to some of the graduates here today, I know that many of you are already familiar with Bradley alumni. You received scholarships supported by alumni, met them at events, you've seen them in your classes as guest lecturers, and a few of you have even been hired by alumni for internships and jobs. This alumni support will continue for you now as this network becomes a resource for social connection, professional networking, and continued learning. So wherever life takes you next, I invite you to bring Bradley with you. Say hello to that person you see wearing a Bradley shirt, and you will see someone wearing a Bradley shirt no matter where you are. Wear your B-Shield pin to work events, Share your experience on the hilltop with prospective Bradley students. Find ways to share your time, your talent, and your treasure with Bradley University as an alumnus so you can impact the next generation of Bradley students. Today, you join more than 70,000 Bradley University alumni worldwide as you fulfill Lydia's legacy to educate young people who can make an impact on our world. Congratulations, Bradley class of 2022 and welcome to the Bradley University Alumni Association. Thank you, Katie. Graduates, when you look back at your time at Bradley, I hope you are proud and feel a sense of accomplishment. I am proud of what you accomplished, especially over the last couple of years, navigating a pandemic, and attending college. I know it hasn't been easy, but you continued to adapt to it all. You did what had to be done, which is why you are here today. 
Our founder, Lydia Moss Bradley, experienced a level of adversity I hope none of us ever experienced. And yet, and yet, she did not just survive, she thrived. Like Ms. Bradley, you did not retreat from adversity. You stepped into the moment to complete a rigorous academic degree in the most challenging of environments. Each of us on this platform and everyone in attendance here today is proud of you and what you've achieved, and you should be as well. This is your moment. Own it, embrace it, because you earned it and you deserve it. You are the living legacy of Bradley University. On that note, let's get on to the main event and my absolute favorite part of the ceremony, the bestowing of degrees. We begin with our doctoral students and to be courteous to the audience members in keeping the program moving, please hold your applause until all the graduates are recognized. Dr. Walter Zakahi, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, will introduce the candidates. Will the candidates for our doctoral program please rise? President Stanifer, having met the requirements established by the faculty and the executive committee of the graduate faculty, and having achieved notable progress in their particular fields of advanced learning, I present these candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Education and Doctor of Nursing Practice. And now, truly my favorite part. On the recommendation of the provost in accordance with the requirements established by the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of Bradley University, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended by your faculty with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The graduates will now come forward to receive their doctoral hoods and diplomas and be congratulated by President Stanifer and Dr. Jessica Clark, Dean of the College of Education and Health Sciences. Sarah Elizabeth Andrews. Sarah successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Effects of Cross-Education During Upper Limb Immobilization, hooded by Dr. David Dominguez. Congratulations, Dr. Andrews. Austin Riley Bell successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Assessment of Concussion Knowledge Among Parents of Female Basketball Players in Central Illinois. Congratulations, Dr. Bell. Cooper Edward Collings successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Effects of Cross-Education During Upper Limb Immobilization. Congratulations, Dr. Collings. Alexander Lee Dutko successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Ultrasound Imaging of the TMJ exploring the relationship to therapeutic interventions. Congratulations, Dr. Dutko. Brianna Rose Mitchell successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Ultrasound Imaging of the TMJ, exploring the relationship to therapeutic interventions. Congratulations, Dr. Mitchell formerly higher. Adam Thomas Wade 
successfully completed the scholarly project entitled Ultrasound Imaging of the TMJ, Exploring the Relationship to Therapeutic Interventions. Congratulations, Dr. Wade. Taylor Marie Wright successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Assessment of Concussion Knowledge Among Parents of Female Basketball Players in Central Illinois. Congratulations, Dr. Wright. Colby White, cross education during upper limb immobilization. Congratulations, Dr. White. Casey Marie Brunton, successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Reliability of Tandem Gait as an Outcome Measure in Healthy Participants. Footed by Dr. Jamie Way, Congratulations, Dr. Brunton. Natalie Elizabeth Gronke successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Impact of Physical Therapy on Caregiver Burden. Congratulations, Dr. Gronke. Gerard Isaac LeBlou successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Impact of Physical Therapy on Caregiver Burden. Congratulations, Dr. LeBlou. Margaret Esther Ross Pritchard successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Impact of Physical Therapy on Caregiver Burden. Congratulations, Dr. Pritchard. Oscar Manuel Ramirez Garcia successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Understanding the Use of Powered Assistive Devices for Early Mobility in Children with Movement Delays, a scoping review. Congratulations, Dr. Ramirez Garcia. Megan Diane Sark successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Reliability of Tandem Gait as an Outcome Measure in Healthy Participants. Congratulations, Dr. Sark. Derek Liddell Booth successfully completed a scholarly project entitled A Reactive Approach to Improving Graduation Rates, a Study on the Impact of Justice Advocates. Hooded by Dr. Jana Hunziger, congratulations, Dr. Booth. <laughs> Shannon Brooke McKenzie successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Mindfulness Meditation for Student Success, the Impact of a Virtual Meditation Group on Community College Student Stress Coping, Resilience, and Persistence. Congratulations, Dr. McKenzie. Ashley England. Successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Trigger Point Dry Needling Added to Usual Care in a Patient with Freezing to Frozen Presentation of Adhesive Capsulitis, a Case Report. Hooded by Dr. Joe Kelly, congratulations, Dr. England. Jonathan Lai Fu Ho Link. Successfully completed the scholarly project entitled Trigger Point Dry Needling Added to Usual Care in a Patient with Freezing to Frozen Presentation of Adhesive Capsulitis, a Case Report. Congratulations, Dr. Link.
Crystal Janelle Agnew successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Development and Evaluation of a Quality Improvement Project for a Clinical Pathway for Post-Operative Bariatric Patients Experiencing Oral Intolerance in an Outpatient Clinic. Hooded by Dr. Kelly Fogelmark, congratulations, Dr. Agnew. <laughs> William Bernard Beecham III, successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Advanced Care Planning in a Primary Care Setting, Development and Implementation of a Quality Improvement Project. Congratulations, Dr. Beecham III. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Nuzetti Cosgrove, successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Implementation of a Geriatric Depression Scale in Primary Care, a Quality Improvement Project. Congratulations, Dr. Cosgrove. Dane Cameron Wallace, successfully completed a scholarly project entitled ASCOM Device Alarm Modifications Impact on Emergency Department Nurse Alarm Fatigue a quality improvement project. Congratulations, Dr. Wallace. <laughs> Ladaria Shanae Whitted successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Development and Implementation of a Process Improvement Project of a pain clinical pathway for patients with chronic pain in a primary care setting. Congratulations, Dr. Whitted. <laughs> Brandis Williamson. Congratulations, Dr. Williamson. <laughs> Elveca Remy Osborne successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Development and Implementation of a Process Improvement Project to Reduce Patient Readmission Rates in Home Health Care. Congratulations, Dr. Remy. Kelly Nicole Duran successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Effect of Gum Chewing on Performance of Daily Activity, Including Steps Taken and Time Needed to Complete Activities of Daily Living, ADLs, in a Person with Parkinson's Disease, a Single Subject Design. Congratulations, Dr. Duran. Alexis Ann Neisted successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Effect of Gum Chewing on Performance of Daily Activity, Including Steps Taken and Time Needed to Complete Activities of Daily Living in a Person with Parkinson's Disease, a Single Subject Design. Hooded by Dr. Pam Doerr, congratulations, Dr. Neisted. Samantha Hope Samp successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The Effect of Gum Chewing on Performance of Daily Activity, Including Steps Taken and Time Needed to Complete Activities of Daily Living in a Person with Parkinson's Disease, a Single Subject Design. Congratulations, Dr. Samp. <laughs> Allison Nicole Greer. Successfully completed the scholarly project entitled The Effect of Gum Chewing on Performance of Daily Activity, Including Steps Taken and Time Needed to Complete Activities of Daily Living in a Person with Parkinson's Disease, a Single Subject Design. Congratulations, Dr. Greer.
Kevin Andrew Dobbs successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Weight Loss Sustainability Plan, hooded by Dr. Rachel Borton. Congratulations, Dr. Dobbs. Jennifer Lynn Finlan successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Transitioning Nurse Shift Report to the Patient's Bedside. Congratulations, Dr. Finland. Casey Nicole Novak successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Strategies for Increasing Patient Volume and Decreasing No-Show Rates in a Rural Mobile Clinic. Congratulations, Dr. Novak. Shadinma Izanaka successfully completed a scholarly project entitled Improving Bed Size Shift Report on a Medical Surgical Unit Using the S-Bar Tool. Congratulations, Dr. Izanaka. Marion Hawkins successfully completed a scholarly project entitled A Pilot Project to Improve Nursing Knowledge and Confidence Levels in Providing Miscarriage Care Utilizing a Two-Part Intervention Process. Congratulations, Dr. Hawkins. Allison Haley Freehill successfully completed a scholarly project entitled The iWalk 2.0 Hands-Free Crutch, Comparison to Normal Gait Pattern and Functional Use for Individuals with Lower Extremity Injuries. Hooded by Dr. Stacy Bertram, congratulations, Dr. Freehill. Luke Jordan Gentile successfully completed the scholarly project entitled the iWalk 2.0 Hands-Free Crutch, Comparison to Normal Gait Pattern and Functional Use for Individuals with Lower Extremity Injuries. Congratulations, Dr. Gentile. Andrea Therese Rossi successfully completed the scholarly project entitled the iWalk 2.0 Hands-Free Crutch, Comparison to Normal Gait Pattern and Functional Use for Individuals with Lower Extremity Injuries. Congratulations, Dr. Rossi. Alyssa Ann Fijalkowski. Successfully completed the scholarly project entitled the iWalk 2.0 Hands-Free Crutch. Comparison to normal gait pattern and functional use for individuals with lower extremity injuries. Congratulations, Dr. Fijalkowski. Congratulations to all of our doctoral students. You may be seated. <laughs> Will those receiving their master's degrees please rise? President Standiford, these candidates standing before you are already holding bachelor's degrees, having met the requirements established by the faculty and the executive committee of the graduate faculty, and having achieved notable progress in their particular fields of advanced learning are presented for their appropriate graduate degrees. On the recommendation of the provost, 
in accordance with the requirements established by the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of Bradley University, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended by your faculty with all the earned rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. We begin with our graduates from the College of Education and Health Sciences. Please come forward to receive your master's hoods and diplomas and be congratulated by President Staniford and Dr. Jessica Clark, Dean of the College. All other students may be seated. Sarah Bliss. Soraya Tierney Allen. Adam Ryan Bitar. Caleb Dias. Chelsea B. Ewing Carr. Victoria Lynn Cisneros. Ivan Gomez. Marley Jane Elslager. Ashley Nicole Fout. Simone Renee Hill. Amy Lynn Hannell. Regina Harley. Tiffany Latrice King. <laughs> Susanna Call. Danielle R. King. Candice Elizabeth Lees. Michelle Marie Knepp. Christy Knight. Valerie Nagel. Stephanie Martinez.
Abril Matthews. Hannah Rose Patton. Sarah Joan Newhouse. Brandy Marie Pitts. Kennedy Lynn Norris. Joshua Seth Sidney. Mercedes Nomi Seichow. Christina Marie Sandal. Jennifer Rebecca Taylor. Abba Taylor Ofori Atta. Celeste Danielle Stombaugh. Brianna Amanda Tate. Allison Rose Whitesell. Nigel Turk. Casey Gordon Wagner. Taylor Levon Vaughn. Ezrina L. Bradley. Joseph Gondarellis. Paige Manso. Anna Princess Emidom. Grace Elizabeth Mooney. Monica Claire Ranson. Brett Daniel Terak. Allison Marie Taylor. Megan Ann Vallis. Lindsay Marie Wetley. Alipur Abedi Biraz. Sandra Agorio. Zane Thomas Judd. Sharon Mary Hester Bello. Carolyn Elizabeth Nicolaus. Stella Maris. Osaigo Osaigbovu
Ramiro Armando Vega. Kelly Elizabeth Templeton. Joanne Alexander Johnson. Ngozi Mary Maurice Azoro. Susan Kendrick. Nora Agnes Drew. Congratulations. Please be seated. Next, graduates from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, please come forward to receive your master's hoods and diplomas and be congratulated by President Staniford and Dr. Daniel Moon, Dean of the College. Uday Sai Reddy Ambati. Laura Lee Ann Moss. Elena Rosales. Ragvendra Reddy Lankapatu. <laughs> Muthumari Namalvarar. Sai Aruna Perry. <laughs> Prushanthi Puta. Thanjua Yanamadala Anjali Gariki Pati Nikitha Reddy Lakurthi Shiny Darla Priyanka Kaniputi Congratulations. Please be seated. Now, will the graduates from the Caterpillar College of Engineering and Technology Please come forward to receive your master's hoods and diplomas and be congratulated by President Standiford and Dr. Molly Gribb, Dean of the College. All other students may be seated. Akil Kudiala, <laughs> 
Saba Sala Mohammed Osman. Ricardo Resendez. Fahman Khan. Wamda Mohammed Ali. Data Sai Pavan Kumar Sodagam. Congratulations. Please be seated. Now, will the graduates from the Foster College of Business please come forward to receive your master's hoods and diplomas and be congratulated by President Staniford and Dr. Molly Gribb, Dean of the College. Kaylee Marie Addis. Matthew Martin Allegretti. Peyton James Allen. Andy Lee Anderson. Kyle Allen Bloom. Katherine Jane Duffy. Benjamin T. Ernest. Stephen Philip Fishman. Mackenzie Lee Newman. Elijah David Hunt. Sydney Rochelle Matheny. Kelly Diane Paradowski. Nicholas Philip Paskvin. Vanessa Rocio Renteria. Layla Rakovina. Jameson Scott Sadler. Paul Sack. Henry Wen. Volodymyr Kuhut. Luke J. Eswin. Hannah Sabert O'Brien. Gregory Makepeace Gould. Mary Kylie. Congratulations. Please be seated.
finally, students from the Henry Pindell Slane College of Communication and Fine Arts, please stand and come forward to receive your diploma and be congratulated by President Staniford and the college's dean, Dr. Jeff Huberman. Heather Joy Ford. <laughs> Trent Graham Lewis. Kevin Robert Long. <laughs> Annabelle Lynn Priest. <laughs> Matthew Edward Kirchhoff. Susan Emily Nance. I'd like to call special attention to our readers for today. Sometimes I think they have the most challenging job of the day. Lee Wenger, Jana Hunziker, Daniel Matisa, and Seth Katz, thank you for being a part of today's ceremony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating all of our graduates today. As we conclude these exercises, please stand and join in singing the university's alma mater, Hail Red and White. The words are printed in your program. When we're done, please remain standing until the completion of the recessional by the platform party and the faculty. And again, congratulations, graduates. I wish you the very best in what comes next.
they don't kind of flutter around and they kind of fall apart by this air pressure.